In these videos, I'm going to talk about numbers, sets, and proofs. Proof is the centerpiece of mathematics. It's how we know in mathematics whether something is true and false. And it's how, over the history of time in mathematics, we've built up a bigger and bigger body of knowledge about mathematics, where in other subjects, people can keep arguing backwards and forwards about different theories. People can propose theories and then have arguments about how valid a theory is. But in mathematics, we can actually prove things, whether things are right or wrong. And that's how we advance. And that's one of the things that makes mathematics special. So what about numbers and sets? Contrary to popular belief, mathematics is not just the study of numbers. It's much more than that. It's the study of many, many more complicated things than numbers. But it just so happens that numbers, and also sets, are a very good place to start trying out, well, trying out our notion of proof, for example. If you were going to buy a car, you might go and test drive it on some very familiar roads that you know, just to see how the car works, before taking it out on some more um, roads you don't know so well to go and explore some new places. And the same is always true in mathematics. Whenever we um, want to think about a new technique or a new way of doing something, it's a good idea to try it out first in a world that, we, that is familiar to us before taking it out to places that aren't so familiar to us. And numbers and sets are a very good place to start exploring how mathematics works because we've used numbers all our lives, basically, and so we already have an understanding about how it work. So we're going to look at numbers and sets, but in doing so, we're going to do much more than find out just about numbers and sets. We're going to find out about how mathematics is done. So what is mathematics? If it's not just the study of numbers, what is it? Well. I suggest that it's the rigorous study of conceptual systems. The rigorous study of conceptual systems. What does that mean? Well, what's a system? We'll see that in mathematics, we build up a system by starting with some basic assumptions and then building up all the things that must be true given those assumptions are true. So we start here and then we say, well, if this is true, then that is true. And if this is true, then that is true. And if this is true, then that is true. And if this is true, then that is true. And that is true. And that is true. And that's, and all these things are true. So we have started with a very small amount of stuff that we're assuming. And from it, we got, by use of logic, a whole lot of things that are true. And it's very important that basically the only thing that we can use to do this is logic. Right? We can't use um, less work, we don't use machinery, we don't use magic, we don't use psychic powers, we use logic. So another misguided illusion about mathematics is that it's all about whether something is right or wrong. And up until now when you've done maths, it really might have been all about whether something was right or wrong. But think of it like this, when you're going on a journey somewhere, are you only interested in the place that you're going, or are you also interested in how you got there? So sometimes all you're interested in is the place you're going, right? But sometimes, say, if you're going hiking in the mountains, then the point isn't exactly to arrive anywhere, but the point is the hike itself, and the things that you see on the way, and different hikes will be very, very different, even though they arrive in the same place. So at further levels of mathematics that, that we're now going to look at, it's not just the case of the place that you're getting to, but it's very important how you got there. And so we're very interested in not just whether something is right or wrong, but the process of how it was proved. And I hope that you'll be excited by the fact, you, that I hope that you feel excited by the idea that you don't have to believe anything that anyone says anymore. Once you get to this level, the whole point is not to believe anybody, don't trust anyone at all. The only thing you're going to trust is a logical process that got you there so that you could do it yourself. You don't have to believe me, you can do it yourself. So this is what the idea of these videos is going to be. We're going to find out 
some things about numbers and sets, yes, but very importantly, we're also going to find out about how mathematical systems and proofs are built up. And these techniques and this way of thinking will be important, well, they are important in all the maths that we do.